Cody, how are you today? Fantastic, man. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, let me start by asking, first of all, uh, thank you for giving me a couple of minutes about, uh, to talk about this uh, fabulous film. It's, it's one of my top three favorite films from last year. So thank you for that. Um, one of the main, my first question is one of the main traits or attributes uh, of your character, Peter, is how, how would you manage to, to keep or to maintain that mysterious air demeanor uh, uh, behavior throughout the film? So how complicated was it to provide those subtleties to a character that little by little starts to unravel? Um, I would say a lot of thought went behind it in terms of like rehearsing with Jane, um, but not too much like, not too much, yeah, uh, objectifying it, I guess, and not too much viewing it from, from the audience's point of view. Because I think the more you do that, the more that you remove from the moment and remove yourself from the true intentions. So I think it was kind of a, a job that was done inside out. It was just a focus on, on Peter, who he is, how he is, and everything kind of, you know, worked its way around that. Thank you for that. So um, his relationship with Phil is, is crucial. It's what moves the narrative. So how, how was working that aspect of the relationship with Benedict, uh, especially the, the, the intimate moments, also considering that th these scenes have many important close-ups uh, for the scene? Um, it was amazing. Uh, again, that was something that was fleshed out in the, um, in the rehearsal process, I would say, you know, just creating that chemistry and that comfort with each other. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was amazing to work with him because on set, you know, it's known that he took a method approach and with me, because of where our characters went, um, in a chronological order, we understood that we can have a bit more elasticity with each other and a bit more play and, you know, have a bit more of a laugh there. So, yeah, it was, it was special and unique, um, our bond on set. Excellent. Um, this, uh, let's talk about the, the elephant in the room. So this film has earned you several well-deserved uh, recognition. So, so my question is, since you were nominated for an Oscar, um, how much thought have you given to this nomination? Um, I mean... Uh, I don't know if I've necessarily tried to think about it, I'd rather just try to process <laughs> all of it. Um, that's why there's no, no words <laughs> I think about it. But, I, you know, it's a very chaotic time as well, you know, doing a lot of press and stuff like that. So I say it, it's not going to really have hit me until okay. the, the storm has passed. And, and it's a beautiful one. Um, I'm, I'm just enjoying the process and being present with it. I'm just absolutely honored. Before the Oscar, you have the Critics' Choice Awards uh, this week. So have you talked about Jesse Plemons about competing with him for, for the award? <laughs> I haven't. We haven't really spoken about it, I guess. I wonder if he still likes me. Um, nah, we, we honestly are just so happy that the film and the ensemble and even people, you know, behind the camera are getting the recognition that they deserve. It's, it's special just, just to see all of us up there. And um, I think that is a gift and a win in and of itself. Well, thank you very much. My time is up. Thank you again for such a wonderful performance and one of the top three, my top three uh, favorite films from, from last year. So uh, a lot of success and, and enjoy all this recognition you're having well-deserved. So thank you very much. Thank you so much.